And what do we mean by volume? Just come around the front, isn't there? You know, when we talk about volume, what does that mean? Or personal space, you know, when I come in here, I'm not connecting with this person, I'm not having any volume. So volume is presence, or when I actually extend through now. So I've dropped into my feet, I've allowed my shoulders to roll, I've gone into my lats. As I breathe in, I've expanded, and if you like, we can then now connect to this other person. So let's do the exercise we used to do. You stay standing for a minute, and I'll be down here. Okay. And all I want you to do is connect through this person. So what you do is roll your shoulders, drop down, and come up through into the shoulders, and allow yourself to stand up. And what I'm using is structure plus volume to take away structure from above. All right. And I hope you noticed, as Mark was talking earlier, keep your body like it's got a pole. You've got a, you're in alignment through your body. Okay. So when you're down here, it's no good trying to come up from here. I just lost my teeth. Yeah. So from here, what I want to do is I want to pop through his shoulders. I want to come up with some sort of presence. Let's do the same exercise, but I'm not going to kneel this time. What I'm going to do here is just grab both things. And remember, these are all exercises. These are actually not a fight. These are teaching you about volume. Okay, how my presence can already affect the other person. We can now layer the fighting on top. This just gives me an added advantage, something else to play with. So I'm going to play with the volume this way. That one we play with volume this way. Okay, so the first volume I play with is that I create volume by through my feet up through my hips into my elbows, out and just let go of that one for a second. And I'm just gluing into a grip. I'm just expanding so my skin glues to the inside of his grip. I want him to hold on. If I do that, I break out. And if I do this, he hangs on. So I'm just gluing. This is the gluing part where we connect to the person, where we glue to him. So the first one I'm going to get you to play with is I want to bounce Mark off the front of my space. So I just, I just pick up the space here in front. You can feel that? Mm -hmm. Try that one first. After that, I want to take it past his skeletal structure, so it's right behind him. It just goes right out behind him. Whoa. Now suddenly he's on the back foot. Yeah. <clears throat> the difference in me is I expand here to have forward pre presence. When Mark wants to start being a bit more assertive, I actually go already behind him. So at the point where he wants to use more force, I've already expanded and I neutralize the intention. Does that make sense? If I just push from my shoulders, Mark straight away has a connection to my body because I'm all just up here and I'm not grounding in my feet and it's just going to be a fight of strength or speed. Yeah. But if I find my feet and I build a thing here, volume now, it's a completely different scenario. Grappling out, I will then take him into a grapple. Striking out, I will then start striking. So we can lay all the other stuff on top. Years ago, we had some nice little Japanese instructors come out and I was in my nice 20s and 30s and thought I'm going to use all my power and strength against these guys and realised it was pointless. Now, why was it pointless? Last year, I... Hey? Last year. Uh, yeah, last week. Okay. Um, it was pointless because I didn't understand what they were doing and they never told us. And then they tossed us around the mat like we're ragdolls. And we're going, how the hell did they do that? What they were doing was stealing the skeletal structure right from the beginning. So even when he wanted to grab my wrist, I'm already out through his shoulder. And they were doing it from Hanni Hanbachi, Sawari Waza, whatever. When he wants to come in, come, to come towards me, he's already gone. And then of course they would just bring him into ETO or whatever they wanted to do, because they already had the skeletal structure. The skeletal structure was already gone. But they never taught us that. But the things to do this is timing and volume and intention. So you need to layer these things on top. So please, <coughs> if I do that, it's too late, really. Which doesn't mean I can't do anything. It just means it's too late for what I'm looking at. <laughs> so, bang, it's too late. I can still reset. But ideally what should happen is his intention is to come and grab my arm, but by the time he's grabbed it, he's already in the back. So now he wants to launch this punch. So as he wants to launch, he's actually coming from a skeletal structure. That's deformed. Does that make sense? So timing is the other thing we talk about, this timing of intentional connection. 
And we're still not talking about a street fight here. This is still learning. He wants to come in and be dominant. I want to steal away the intention of him being dominant. All right? So, I mean, in a street fight thing, we're not going to be nice. We're going to go and play some other games. But for what we're doing here learning, how does my presence, my volume, my structure affect this person? So, ikkyo would be pop the shoulder up and around, and we'll get into the ikkyo kaitanagis. If I want shianagi, I will pop them up and then over through, and then we'll take them through the shianagi. But straight away from the beginning, I've already stolen the structure. Should we slow that down? You want to try that? So, as it's coming in for the grab, I've already come up through my body and popped that shoulder. The next line of attack normally is going to be from the other side of the body. Or if I push him back, he'll kick with this one. But if I've done that, normally this is what's going to be coming next. So I don't want to be here. So when I pop the shoulder, I'll move away from that and use the skeletal structure to block the next attack. So the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder are already negating a next punch. And when a next punch is coming in, my hip then goes involved and we take away structure through volume, through my connection to his body volume. Is that making sense? Still not a street fight, but it is a situation where you're applying the connection of your structure and volume to the other person.